Hey guys, welcome back to One Month in My Bullet Journal. I told you this wasn't an April Fool's joke. Today is April 2nd, Monday. Um, I'm actually filming this on Saturday the 31st um, because I didn't want to do a film a video on Easter. So <laughs> instead, um, and I'm also, like I mentioned, not really using my bullet journal on Easter Sunday. So today's video, I'm going to set up the weekly uh, for April 2nd through eighth um so we're gonna start by picking out some washi tape uh let's see because i think you know this has been working okay for me don't broke don't fix what isn't broken um so i think i'm going to do the same kind of thing again i just need to pick something to go along the edge maybe this one this one's fun i don't use it enough I'll be needing some other uh, secondary washi tapes to match, but for now we've got this. I'm just going to put it along the edge to give it a pop of color. trim the edges here. As carefully as I can. I don't know, should I kind of half pull it out? So I, I just get a little bit paranoid about accidentally cutting the uh, elastic. You know, it's not likely to happen, but... Uh, eh, that was not the best job ever. on this side. <laughs> it's kind of a janky job. All right, there's that side. And this edge. Just kind of trim as close, as close to the very edge as we can. There we go. All right, that works. Um, and I usually like to use this color, uh, Stabilo, with this washi tape. It's the color 50. Um, so the dates here for Alistair Weekly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Sort of like that. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's a little bit off off kilter, actually, isn't it? I'm going to try really hard all this week to not notice that it's not exactly as straight as it could be, because I can't really fix it at this point. It's too late. All right. Uh, this side is we're gonna do um, this grid thing. And yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll do the grid in the red as well. So it's tall enough for four day or four squares per day. So it's just like the whole the whole thing. These are eight. Yes, these are eight wide and then there's one in the middle. So let's uh line up the ruler. Nice straight line. There is a period of time in my life where I didn't care about the straightness of my lines. And then it bothered me enough in certain cases where I was just like, yeah, no, I need to start using ruler for everything. Ah. And as soon as I say that, I bumped it just a little bit with my fingernail there. It's all right. We still have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, all right, we're good. 
This is really close to the, uh, the middle of the notebook. So we've got that bit of a bump where the elastic is. Those of you who also use traveler's notebooks are probably familiar with what it's like working around that. A minor inconvenience. I think the benefits of traveler's notebooks for me outweigh little things like that, but I'm sure it would bother some people enough that they would want to pull the notebook out to work on it. All right. Sorry if you can see my head in this. I'm trying not to lean over, but it's making it tricky to see exactly what I'm doing. Last week I decided to only write the days here and the dates here. But somehow I found that tricky. So I think I might do both. Here. And then uh, I do one common to do list for the whole weekend. So this right column here is not split up between Saturday and Sunday. Because generally the way that works is like it's just Saturday's to-do list and I have nothing on Sunday. Either that or I put everything off on Saturday and get it done on Sunday instead. But in any case, I just have one to-do list. I find that works out fine for me. And let's grab a Pigmore Micron for the black. I'm going to do the date and the day. So we've got two, three... Four, six, seven, eight, and then just, I guess, just this. One, two, straight, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right. And we will start by just filling out all of our to-dos off of the calendar for the month. Um, so for example, we have doctor's appointment at 2.40. We've got our usual Information class on Tuesday and Bible study on Wednesday. And then I've got a chiropractor's appointment on Saturday. And night. This is an event that we go to once a month. It's like a, I don't know, dinner slash prayer group thing. That is pretty cool. And yeah, so let's see. Tuesday is usually leftovers day. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of leftovers after Easter. Wednesday we go elsewhere and then that's all I know. Oh yeah, that's we're going to be there for dinner. There we go. So I think the last thing I have to do on this daily is the uh, habit tracker. Sorry, on the weekly. Last thing I have to do on this weekly is the habit tracker. Um, trying to think if there are any things on here that I need to just sort of get rid of or... Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, um, 
I feel like I kind of need to change what I'm doing with the habit tracker that like the system as it is currently is not reminding me enough to get the stuff done. Um, I also wanted to add a daily video. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it mostly as is. Mostly as is. I think I'm gonna get rid of Bible study on there because I've been mostly able to get it done in one day and so having it on the tracker isn't important. All right. So we're just going to put on some habits that I'm trying to work on, sort of. They've been, I don't know, having it on here, I think, I've been doing these things more often than if they weren't on here, I think. Diamonds. And then I'm gonna put video, which will mean the video that goes up that day has been done. So I'll f usually fill it out if I can fill in that box the night before, which maybe, maybe I'll remember to fill in the box for the video the night before and we'll also see that I still haven't, you know, done my stretches for the day or whatever. Because the thing about the tracker is that I tend to look at it in like the middle of the day. So I'll fill out that I took my vitamins because I usually, I almost always remember to do that. Like I remember to do that without my tracker, but it's there to make me feel good that I can fill out something every single day. Um, and then everything else I kind of forget about because I do that like before bed and I'm not checking this right before bed. I'm putting on lotion. After I've put on lotion, my hands are greasy and I don't want to touch my bujo. Anyway. Let's see. There's five things, five things. Okay. Find this uh, Panera card works really handy for uh, smaller things. It wouldn't work for drawing the grid on this side. Because that needs the full length ruler. Using a little gift card as a mini ruler works. I, uh, I thought that I might miss the pockets when I switched away from the deluxe traveler's notebook to the classic. Uh, but I, I really don't. I think there was a period of time where I, I was working on a project to figure out what was going on with a gift card. So I had that gift card in the back and I just stuck it in this little, um, in here. And that worked well. But mostly I don't really need to carry stuff around. Because my, um, my bujo lives in my purse and so anything that I need with me I just keep in my purse. And I like the cover is not uneven because it doesn't have like the extra layers of leather where the pockets go. So that's something. Right. It's always hard to make the first line because there's nothing visible as a guideline. I should have done that differently for that reason, but it's fine. I mostly just use the Pigger Micron for, uh, for black whenever I need black. It helps in cases like this because when I'm using the water-based highlighter, I use the Zebra Mild Liners uh, for, to fill in my grid, um, my habit tracker. And this Pigma Micron ink is waterproof, so it's not gonna smudge when I fill it in. So that's helpful. And I guess I should put some decorative washi there between. That looks good. This one, I always think this one looks pretty good with that. I don't think I have anything 
Like this one. How would that? Ooh, that might look good. That might look good. I kind of like the layered washi look. So we'll do a little bit here. Oh. Underneath. And then a little bit. Sorry about that. Then a little bit of this guy. On top. Like that. That's cute, yes? Yes, that'll do. Black and white and red all over. Alright, so everything is set up. So that's good. Um, I'll probably continue to use my dailies the same way I did last week, which I explained in yesterday's video. I was just sort of a a list of things to do in the evening that I kind of used. Uh, I wrote it as I decided I needed it, like in the afternoon, looking forward to the evening. So if I decide I need um, a daily from Monday or whatever, I will put it there um, sometime on Monday and I'll show it to you in tomorrow's video. Um, but there are some things that should be on this list from general to-do lists. All right, I, I think I showed you this in a different setup video. I have my list of lists that kind of shows you all the places, it's just me, all the places that I should check if I think that I might be forgetting to do something. Um, all the different places that I keep to-do lists. So first of all, the monthly calendar. Um, dust PC, plant garden, I don't know if that's happening. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I have some things that are actually written here. So, I'm going to change our sheets. Important. Um, okay. Homework. Get homework to grade. I was going to do that live on paper. Pay internet. Bills, 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 and then, ah, uh, yes. So I have, um, I'm gonna put that as a note here. Low carb, uh, because I have my glucose challenge for gestational diabetes test on Monday uh, after my 240 appointment. So I want to make sure that I'm not hopped up on sugar beforehand to give myself a better chance of an accurate result. Um, Cool, all right. I think everything that's on here is fine. I'm not gonna focus on that. Though I do I need to give a presentation for confirmation next Tuesday, so I'm going to work on that this week. Um, confirmation talk. There we go. Um, then next on my list of lists, chores list. Okay, this chores list, I mentioned this yesterday. I'm kind of not, yeah, kind of not using it. Um, oh, but just remembering things I wanted to look at the stroller shade part. That means something to me. Don't worry about it. Um, I might just checklist. Yes, definitely. Nice checklist for week five. Mostly I'm doing that stuff today, that's fine. Baby insert reminds me to look at the weekly sec uh, section here. Things now I'm feeling upset that I was gonna put here. I don't know, kind of tired something I was gonna put here oh well I guess I'll think of it later and then I've got here a new month of general to do's um, yes okay I think I think this is a good week to start actually going through I'm gonna I'm 
I'm gonna write catalog, though that's a very intense word for what I'm just gonna be sort of organizing the, the baby stuff that people have given us already. I wanna know what we have, what we still need, and to sort of tidy it away so that um, we can start painting. So it's not all over the place, because mostly now it's just sort of in the room, like there. <laughs> All right, YouTube schedule, that's just you guys. Um, I'm gonna be doing the same thing every single day, so that's fine. Um, and then we just look at the someday maybe list, the waiting on project checklist. So that's like these first pages here. I just kind of go through the index and these project lists to see what I need to work on. So, projects. Put a star next to the projects that are current. Um, Oh, I did that actually. That project's done. Don't have to worry about videos right now. Craft projects, yeah, I definitely do need to do. I'm just gonna put sewing on my to-do list because there are a few different projects and depending on whether I can get any of them done sooner rather than later, I can move on to the next one. Um, so that's, that's that then. Ooh, uh, should I put? Yeah. And turn check in. Don't worry about it if you don't know what these things mean. It's for me. And that's it. Someday maybe I, I mean, because it's on my list, I look at this list once a week and I never add anything from this list to my to-do list, but at least I kind of keep it in the forefront of my mind to kind of like know, oh yeah, those are some things that maybe I should think about doing someday. But, um, that's, that's good for now. That's what we've got. And I will be using this all day Monday and we'll check in with you tomorrow morning and show you how my Monday went. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting these videos every single day throughout the month of April. Call it beta, call it oim or um, whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this if you haven't started enjoying it already. And I will see you tomorrow, I'm gonna to stop talking now, bye. Thank you.